five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit, the weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No, I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized 
Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Night. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the hell is my name? <laughs> Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that actor. Your fella. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Yeah, <laughs> or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Ah, oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Huh? Who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> The door only opens from the inside. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy.
Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Oh well, the coffee's not on the bill. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. A pool of blood. This is where he killed him. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take care of it. 